So, hello! Hello! I'm Case. And I'm Odyssey. And welcome to another Mob Cave UHD cast. Oh yeah! And as the server has just said, it is a 1000 by 1000 map meetup after 1.5 hours. Uh, no PvP until second day and Nether is disabled. But everything else is enabled, that includes enchantments and... So I don't know, getting to the end... No, that's not... That the is end. disabled, isn't it? Oh. You'd have to get to the nether. Um, okay, so we started, and I am with Hoodie Kirk, and I am with Sendos. And they're both just chopping trees in a uh, a swamp, right next to the huge lapis wall. Indeed, and it is uh, teams of two, in case you hadn't guessed. I am with Marky Ross over here, and with Chaos over here. Um, Chaos is hosting the game again. It is on his server, like it was last time. Indeed. And these two have started very close to an NPC village, Ooh. which does have a blacksmith in it. Ooh. Do you know what it is? What's in it? Can you uh, check? No, I don't, I don't know if I can open chests. So ah. We'll wait and see. I'll be able to look in their inventory soon. Indeed. I bet they're going to go straight for that. Um, Alright, so they're just getting sorted. So I've said hello to these guys, and I think I'm going to... Ooh, there's an apple at the top of this tree. <laughs> <laughs> That'll fall down in a moment. Oh, that's good. Anyway, I'm going to go and have a look at some of the other guys. So, Indeed. let's TP to... Gomez. Hello, Gomez. I'm going to Awkward Turtles. Alright, hello. This is Gomez the Chimp. And I don't see his partner anywhere. Who is his partner? Michael Turner. Um, they're in the middle of a forest. I'm not entirely sure where he is. They wouldn't have... They wouldn't have uh, split up so quickly, would they? Mm. They'd be staying together, surely. Maybe. Oh, no, no, he's right underground. There, yep, he's he's still here. He's okay. uh, digging straight down. He's getting his stone tools. Okay, I approve. Very good. good. Indeed, and I'm here with Awkward Turtles and with The Awesome 300. Oh, and, yeah. Um, I imagine that's a reference to the film 300. Maybe? And, Possibly. Um, or maybe it's just the number 300. Awkward sure Turtles 23. Lot. That'll be a reference to the film 23. 23. <laughs> <laughs> um, There's another apple just floating on top of this tree. It's wherever I go. I'm going to go to a third person and see if the same <laughs> thing happens. So let's go to... Who did you go to? You went Awkward to Turtles. turtles I'm going to awesome. go to Quality. Will that get you there? Oh, they're underground. Uh, what's he got in his... Okay, he hasn't got much yet in his... Hot bar. I'm gonna go above ground, and he is in a snow biome, and there is a creeper standing on top of them. <laughs> oh no! But Careful no apples, that. no apples in sight. So, and they're right next to the wall. So, you said this was a thousand by a thousand. That's actually quite small. It is quite small. They might be running into each other kind of soon. Yeah. Um, I don't know if there's a grace period. It wasn't said. Um, so we'll have to see what happens when it happens. Indeed. Um, also, it's worth mentioning that uh, we're trying not to focus on one person each this time, or one team each, and we're going to carry on uh, going round and round everyone, trying to get a full view of what's going on. Don't know if that's the right way to do it or not, but we shall find out after this, won't we? And we'd appreciate feedback, so... Let us know in the comments below. Indeed. And, uh, by the way, Awkward Turtles has gone down, got his stone tools uh, already, and thrown some tools over to the awesome 300. And uh, 300 has been going around and killing things, ready for Nosh Nosh time. Cool. Nosh Nosh time. Nosh Nosh time. Uh, I can't spell. Chaos. I'm going over to Chaos. And he is... He's just looked in the blacksmith, so let's have a look at what he's got. He's got two iron helmets, he's got two iron swords, he's got three iron ingots, and two bread and three apples. Well, that's useful. a lot. That's very useful. Yeah, it's a good start. Uh, did he get anything from the lava? No, he didn't. He hasn't got a bucket yet. Uh, but yeah, I don't see his partner, Marky Ross. Where is he? Um, I guess only one person needed to go to the. Actually, I'm wrong. He's right there. Okay. I'm with <laughs> Huey Kirk or Huddy Kirk or yes, this one. I like Huey Kirk. Ooh, Hoody ooh, Kirk. ooh, 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 what, what, what? ooh, chaos. He has, and his partner, they have carrots. Oh, I would go for potion. Oh, but they can't. Oh, no, they never. Can't. Never is a table. <laughs> so, they I have I keep forgetting carrots. this. Oh, my God. They're going to make carrot cake. <laughs> it's, who, a, it's a game changer. Who is Hootie Kirk with? Sendos. I'll go have a quick look for Sendos. TP. Indeed. Hootie Kirk, Send that's an amazing name. It is. It just kind of rolls off the tongue. <laughs> 
And uh, Sendos is very nearby. So, yep, there. Yep. I think Sendos is probably doing the um, the hunting duty. Indeed. So we, we have got some quite nice organisation, a division of labour, um, both with this team and with uh, Awkward Turtles. One of us is going off and getting all the stone for their tools, the other one is going off and getting food. Indeed. There are a bunch of chickens around. Well, I, I only see one, but in Malky Ross's inventory, I see that he has nine feathers already. He also has a lot of food, so they're certainly ready. Ooh, I think that must be Chaos getting rid of... Why did he do that? What he didn't actually... Um, he got rid of the, the blocks surrounding the lava in the blacksmith, so that it would flow. Uh, mm. He didn't take any of the lava, though. Interesting. Yeah, interesting. Maybe it's just to freak people out. Play with them. Maybe. It's a sign. You've already been here. Alright. Uh, so there watching... are cows around as well, so he's got all the leather he needs to get his enchanting table up and running. I'm watching Gomez the Chimp, um, who is going around and killing chickens. Very good to get chickens early on. Um, but, of course, they mean nothing until you've got a bow. Ah, yes, indeed. Um, it's also worth noting, a couple of the teams uh, that were scheduled to be in this in this match haven't appeared, so we are going with five teams of two instead of seven. Right. I just tried to uh, teleport to one of the people who weren't there. So let's... I'm just going to have a quick look around, see if anyone else is in the actual vicinity of Chaos and... Um, Marky Ross. I yes, um, like it. this is a 1.5.1 server, so um, yes, that means a lot of things. Obviously, there's all the new updates and stuff that came in with that update, um, but <laughs> also that we don't have our Awards mod on, because uh, that was a 1.4.7. We probably yes, could get indeed. one, but I'm not sure where it is, so we will do that and ready for next time. Um, all right. There's a creeper right but above I'm the over chip. at Awkward and Turtles. Oh my god, I'm over at Awkward Turtles now, and they've spotted iron, that's good. What's yep. he got in his hotbar? Oh, I fell. <laughs> uh, he has got all his stone tools, he's got five feathers. Appears to be no shortage in arrows for this map, or feathers to make arrows. Um, and there's a huge lava, f wow, huh, what? a huge lava pool, surface lava pool right here. Hmm. Huh. Now what would you do with a surface lava pool in this game? Can't go to the nether, so there's none of that, but um... Well, yeah, lava bucket. Very, exactly. <laughs> a very uh, cheap and quick and easy way to get lava, which is a very useful weapon. Um, Damn, ground chickens. Ground chickens. <laughs> Are you going to check out that? Yeah. Uh, chaos. So Michael Turner and um... Dum -de -dum -de -dum. Gomez the Chimp aren't together at the moment. They seem to have split up, I think. Oh, and he's heading into... Michael Zona is heading straight into some skellies. He doesn't oh, realise no. that they're actually in uh, under a... Um, that. <laughs> <laughs> a tree? A, 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 an, a, a big archway of, of stone and Ooh. justice. And uh, it created a <laughs> shadow, and there are actually two skellies in there who shot it. But I think he got away without taking any damage. And the skeletons, of course, are 1.5 skeletons, so they're really deadly. Yes, yeah, so you definitely yeah. want fire, to be staying away from those. Fire much faster the closer you get to them, so it's very difficult to handle them without a bow. And none of these people will have a bow yet, I don't think. I'm going to go over to Sendos, because apparently he's taken two and a half hearts. Yes, that's what I was looking at. Um, and creepers, he says. Ah. Chaos definitely collected enough carrots. It is his server, so I'd be disappointed if he, uh, if he, if it skipped his mind that he can't go to the Nether. <laughs> I'm sure it didn't. I'm sure he, he really wants those carrot cakes, but There's he does have that iron flaming sword. Flaming zombie coming up towards Sendos. He doesn't want to get hit by this because in 1.5 he will be set on fire, but he actually takes it out, so it's fine. Good. Don't want any early deaths. That's always really horrible to, to happen to you. Indeed, he has a, it's a horrible thing to happen to you. <laughs> um, where's Marky Ross? Don't see him. All right, I'm gonna go look at someone else. Going all over the place. Ex Nathy, who is with uh, Quality. Okay. And they are digging straight down. Well, in a stairway, uh, going into two different stairways, trying to cover as much ground as possible. I can hear a lot of lava. Where is this lava? So it's um, it is also coming up to night time now. They probably have a minute left until night time. Um, that didn't work. 
Um, Sendos is just standing here, and his partner is, is not anywhere near or in sight, and it is coming night time. They really need to meet up right now, because it's, um, it's always good to be together if you have to dig down, because otherwise you're going to be separated for the entire night. Indeed. I'm going to have a look at Sendos as well, if I can spell his name. All right. Okay, well, I'm going to switch over to his partner then. What's he got? Does he have any iron yet? He has one iron ore. That iron ore will grow up to be... Okay. So they're something. quite near each other. Probably a spade, I don't know. Um, I can see you. Oh yeah, I can see you. So... Hootie Kirk. Let's see what these two have then. Oh, yep. 18 iron ore already. Ah, good. So good. that's where the iron is. Sendos only has one. What uh, would you do with 18 iron? Would you... Or, yeah, oh, 99, I guess. Uh, would you <laughs> save it all for one person or split it between you? I would... It depends on the circumstances. The default, yes. I think, for me would be to split it between you. Yes. Unless you want a tank for a specific reason, mm. then you put everything on a single person, get them ironed up first. But of course, you'd aim for, you know, in the long run, getting everyone ironed up anyway. So, and it's starting to rain, and there are pumpkins. This is all very relevant. <laughs> so I'm back with Sales again. He's running away from the village. He's got his helmet on, oh. and Togle. <laughs> Um, Let's go to the Togle. Oh! What? They found a... Not a cave spider spawner, a spider spawner. Wow, They're right next useful. to it. That is useful, isn't it? Uh, have they got the chest yet? Yeah, I assume they have got the chest. And they have got... Whoa! What have they got? Two enchanted books. One is Feather Falling 4. Wow, nice. I know. The other is Unbreaking 2. Not mm. so useful, but Could Feather Falling all. can save your life, definitely. Yeah, that's true. And they're cooking up a bunch of... I assume it's iron. Can I not go into this? Oh, that's a shame. <laughs> that was hilarious. Eh? <laughs> Chaos just dug three blocks down and then looked up to seal it off again and sealed it up with gravel. <laughs> fell down on his face. Did he take any damage? No, he didn't. Oh, shame. I mean, no. <laughs> shame. Oops. That um, just would have been perfect. Um... So all right. It is now night time, and above awkward turtles, there are three apples just waiting to be taken. But oh, now they've disappeared. Oh no, they haven't disappeared. But they're being surrounded by zombies and slimes, apparently. Oh, this is like a surface cave. Mm -hmm. I didn't realize. Not a surface cave. A surface spawner. Oh wow. Yeah. No wonder they found it. Yeah. They just dug straight down when they saw it. I'm like, now straight with the Marky Deopt Marky Ross. I'm um, with Marky <laughs> Ross, who is with. Um, Chaos, and he is actually separated from him right now. I'm not sure how how near or far they are, but um, yes, he's going down an actual one of those kind of big drops in the surface. Oh yes, at the point we we are going to be using uh, night vision effects. Oh, can um, you see this, that? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder um, if everyone else can see that. Just so we can see underground. Uh, so bear in mind that we can see well, but the players probably won't be able to. Indeed, and it looks like. Is that Orca oh. Turtle who's done that? Oh. I think he's just found the second chest in that spawner. I'm going to have a look. Okay, we have what? something fair, potentially dangerous right here. Marky Ross is coming down this big hole, and there is a creeper hidden underneath him. He just left the game. It was very oh. strange, because he was looking straight at me when it happened. <laughs> 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 something disappeared. <laughs> Watch this. Oh, there is a spider below him as well. He's going to try and oh, no. dig down safely, but this is a very dangerous time for him. Yeah, it sounds it. I don't know if he realizes yet. The creeper has stepped out, so he should be able to see it now. Okay, the awesome and awkward turtles, I think. I can't tell what they got. The awkward turtles? The awesome uh, and awkward turtles. <laughs> <laughs> um, I can't tell whether they got that second spawner. It looks like they dug all the way around, and they, they must have got that, that second chest. Uh, second chest, I meant. But I can't tell what they got from it. Uh, it may well have been just some iron... Oh, they got some cookies. <laughs> that was useful. All right, I'm gonna. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Cookie. GG. Um, Let's have a look at someone else. Uh, I'm gonna stick with these two for a bit because he's in a these bit two? of a Marky Ross and chaos. Okay, I'm gonna go back to Gomez, who are the ones digging down. I remember this. Um, Marky Ross is coming back up, and there are skellies on the surface, but hopefully won't attract them. Now, Gomez has a lot of feathers. He has 32 feathers. I would like to be in this position. He has attracted a skelly. Oh, no. 
And he has been shot in the face. Oh no. There's an arrow now in his eye. Luckily he has a helmet on, but he's gonna have to get out of there right now. Alright. Chaos. Chaos has suddenly stopped digging, so I assume he's he's being told all about it. <laughs> um let's have a look. I assume that was the skelly. Yes, uh, it was. Yeah. Marky Ross is digging straight down. He's I, dug. Okay, he, that's he a good plan. He's straight down. He has put cobblestone, which is visible on the surface. But um, yeah. I imagine this was under um, Chaos's orders because he dug straight down three and placed a block up on the top of it, just as Chaos did earlier. Aha! Uh -huh, conspiracies. Ah. Um, <laughs> all right. Now this this looks like a harsh environment during the night. There are lots of mobs around and. I, they're still right next to the village, and that's just a beacon. Oh, my, you are a noisy zombie um, who's knocking down a door. So, I don't know, I don't think there are going to be many people out tonight. Yes, indeed. I've skipped over to Gomez the Chimp and uh, Michael Turner. Oh, yeah. Um, who are underground and in a nice-looking cave right now. Nice. So I wanted to actually bring up a topic with you that we should probably be thinking about throughout this match. Oh. Um, so, uh, since the the latest uh, UHC that the Minecraft lot have been doing, and are still in the process of doing, um, we have had an influx of people coming into the uh, UHC Reddit community, True. Um, and a lot of people have been a lot of new people have been playing in these games. Um, now, yes, uh, quite a few of them will have played UHC before and just won't have realised that there is this brilliant place for people to meet up and have these UHC matches and stuff. But it also means that there will be a lot of noobs coming in, a lot of scrubs. Um, <laughs> so what I wanted to be thinking about was how is it best to play the game as a newbie? To best look after yourself, to give you the best chance of winning? Hmm... Ooh. That's an interesting question because I, I honestly wouldn't play it any different. Yes, but then we've been playing it for a very long time, and uh, ooh. well, it depends. Do you mean are they new to ultra hardcore in general, general, or just the you uh, know, these matches? New to ultra hardcore. Ah, well, in that case, I, I don't know because I think the best thing to do is stay as safe as possible. Uh, never take any risks whatsoever. However, uh, I do know some people, some friends of mine, Ooh. wow, who would just jump right in and uh, give it their all and probably die quickly. Unless yes. they're, they're huh? very, very skilled or lucky. So, yeah, Indeed. I think oh, I would stay safe. Gomez the Chimp is in trouble because there is a zombie so coming right up behind him. If he doesn't notice this, he's going to get hit. He does get hit. Oh, no. But only takes off one heart. That is very lucky, since he's not is got lucky. any armor on, and it was a zombie hitting him. Cool. They really lucky. do pack a punch. They do. He's also lucky that he didn't come around this corner, because there is a skelly waiting for him. Awkward Turtles and the awesome 300. They are looking good. They've got their bows sorted. Oh, They've got both brilliant. their bows sorted. They've got four string extra. Actually, it might be more, for, more than four string. Uh, the awesome has four string, and awkward turtles has none. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. So Whoever well, on. now mm. that's something that I really want to look for. If people have a lot of string, then I like that because if they get to enchantments, it's very easy to combine enchantments in a bow to get something like power three, maybe even power four. Although that's very uncommon. Mm. At the very least, power two, because you can just combine two yes. power one bows. If you put one level into a bow, you're guaranteed to get power one. And then you can just combine them, and it'll only take four levels, six in all. So it's a very, very cheap way of getting an assured power two. Indeed. Um, so yeah, that, that's a tip for our newbies. <laughs> Indeed. I'm with uh, Hewdy Kirk. Hewdy Kirk. That is a good <laughs> name. I know. I like your name, Hewdy Kirk. So do I. And Sendos, and they are also in a nice... Well, actually, this is a very open-looking cave. There seems to be... Oh, God, that thunderstorm. I'm sorry if I you know. can't hear us. I have to turn down the sound to 2% now. Oh, he's toggling the downfall. Okay. Oh, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> that's better. Let's put it back up. There we go. Okay, okay. so I am now with Quality and Exnathy. Exnathy? Exnathy? Exnathy. 
I'm going to call you x -Nathai. Welcome to Old Navy. <laughs> um, <laughs> All right, so... Kirikirk has actually gone straight back up to the surface because it is just daytime right now. Aha. Uh -huh. Quality, he has an iron chest plate. Um, x -Nathai doesn't. Oh, uh, I... In fact, he has very little in the way of... Oh, no, he does have a chest plate. I lie. He does have a chest plate. Um, That's good. Hudicote just ran straight into a zombie up on the, on the surface. Oh, no. Oh, Hudy. Oh, no. Oh, no. Um, yes, ex Neithi. He has very little in the way of tools. All he has is a stone sword and a stone pickaxe. He doesn't have a shovel. He doesn't have an axe. He doesn't have anything like that. It's interesting. Um... I'm very curious as to what QD is getting up to here. He's attacking some slimes, so this could well be to get experience, because um, they probably will be going for enchantment. So actually, this is Indeed. a very good way of getting experience. If you're near a swamp, then it is good to go off in the morning and just take out any slimes you find. Yes, slimes give you a lot of XP, don't they? Yes. Uh, let's go to chaos. Let's go to chaos. And he has been digging a fair amount. They've met up now. Him and Marky Ross. Whoa. Ooh, let's get out of his way. And Marky Ross is heading back to the surface. They still only have those iron helmets that they got from the village. Uh, what does he have? He doesn't have much more. He has four iron ore, but he is cooking some. So, still just getting underway here. Yes. Um, wow, this cave is huge. I would be worried for Sendos, to be honest. <laughs> in this cave, it is open in all directions and just huge. Yeah. But there don't seem to be many mobs around. I can hear a spider, though. So, that cobblestone. <laughs> Marky Ross still digging down, and he's still got <laughs> that cobblestone there, and he's oh, right beneath it. That's worrying. Come on, please, please get rid of it, please. Judge, judging by the fact that um, we were in a Chaos uh, UHC not that long ago, and uh, people found where I dug down simply because the grass hadn't grown back in that yeah. position. So you have you... to be very careful with that sort of thing. Yeah. The cobble is definitely very visible. L luckily, he does have some trees around to kind of hide it, but then again, I was in the trees too. Mm, conspiracies! <laughs> um, Mike? Alright, you have a chest. Hmm. And they have a chest plate. Did I mention that before? I don't know. Um, Who are you with? I'm with Mike, uh, Gomez the Chimp. Gomez the Chimp now has an iron chest plate. He's got a furnace. I can only assume it's iron cooking in there. Uh, in fact, if I have a look, does he have food? I think the only really worthwhile things um, to smelt are iron and food. Although I suppose you can smelt... Oh, well, you need to smelt gold as well. But um, I suppose you can smelt... Uh, but uh, but uh, but uh, sand to make glass blocks if you want to. That yes, is, that can be a very useful idea. He's got three wool. I hope he doesn't <laughs> make a bed. I really hope he doesn't make a bed. That's, yeah, don't do that. <laughs> that that's uh, that's a scrub's mistake. That's what Kurt did back in season it is. three. Back his in his scrubby days. Yeah, exactly. Scrubby days. Scrubby. Um, um, that's something I'll say about caving for new people. Um. It's it, it's very tempting to go around very very carefully and very slowly, but there is a downside to that. You can you can go in and you can block off every direction and move very slowly to make sure you don't get hit or leave anything behind. But that will mean that you are oh, who's that? I imagine that's his teammate. You are um, uh, leaving dark areas for a very long time, which means more mobs will be spawning and making the area even more dangerous. I think. My tip would be, yes, block off areas if you're going to go past that area, but then keep one corridor open and explore it very quickly. Indeed. I think the quicker the better, to be honest. Yep. It gives the mobs very little time to spawn, which is exactly what you want in a UHC. So I'm with Old Navy and um, Quality. And they've got their chest plates, and they're, I think, probably getting apples, maybe? Old Navy. Ex Nathy. Oh. Maybe his name's Nathan. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> Conspiracies! <laughs> um, oh, let me through. Oh, oh, oh. There are lots of mobs around here. I hope, I hope... Who am I with? Oh. I hope Sendos doesn't... Uh, 
explore too much further than that. He looks like he's just waiting. He's he's in charge of the furnaces. He's just he's dug himself a uh, what is this? A six by three by three hole, and he's got three furnaces and a. a um, Actually, he's been getting his armor up and running. Okay, I approve. I take it all back. I approve. <laughs> um, this is good. He has all of his armor up and running. He also has... How many was that? Oh, he stays still. I, he has eight iron ingots. And he also has an iron pick already. So I think the next thing to make is probably a sword. And then... And ten iron ingots. And then probably two buckets and a flint and steel. That's probably what I'd do. Right. Um... I was just checking out what these two had been up to during the night. I checked out their their caving system thing. I don't think they've found a cave yet properly. Um, what I did notice is they've got a workstation right up at the very top, and then they've dug down under it. Now, I understand that when you first go down, it is a good thing to set up just something to cook your iron or whatever else. But after you've gone further down and you are trying to look at caves below, you should bring the workstation down with you. I can't stress that enough. Yeah, because definitely. Because you will spend half your time going up and down stairs. You'll find things down the bottom and then want to smelt them up at the top. It's just its such a waste of time and it's a waste of energy as well. You're going to waste all your food bar. Yep. So, yes, bring workstation with you. Yes, definitely. Be as efficient as possible. Ah, uh, Gomez. I went to him because I noticed he is on 4.5. And he is still... He's just hes just got that iron chest plate. And he's looking down into a big ravine. Where did the Ooh. ravine go? Uh, here's the ravine. A big ravine. And it's filled with skeletons and creepers and a whole bunch of nastiness. And a whole load of iron. So that's probably why he's looking around it. But... Uh, with 4.5, I think you need to be a little careful now. Uh, how do you get through this? There we go. Gomez, who's he with? He's with Michael Turner. Oh, oh hi. Hello. <laughs> and that is Michael Turner over there. I don't know. How did I end up here? How did you end up there? I'm pretty sure I... I teleported to... Oh, I must have thought I was with someone else. <laughs> no, no, I must have... No, I'll... Go... Go back to go back to where you're supposed oh, to be. Oh, oh, I see. Um, I was trying to go to the awesome, so I typed the, and it teleported to me to Gomez the chimp. Ah. <laughs> okay. Oh so no. What what's going on? I, bad use of the uh, the compass. All right. The ore. Uh, you still. What I would do in hold on who who was that? That must have been Gomez. Gomez, he's on low health. He has all of these feathers. And he has one flint, and he has two arrows. He really needs to grind. There's loads of gravel right here. He needs to get grinding. <laughs> get grinding. <laughs> get grinding. That's right. I mean, uh, grinding. <laughs> oh god, <laughs> grinding is the the boring part of the video, but it has to be done. <laughs> you. <laughs> Go All on. right, I'm, I'm just going to stop there. Okay. <laughs> There's no point in finishing that. <laughs> I think you're muted. Okay. Hi. Hi. Um, they need to make their bow as well. They've got one string. Maybe that was what Gomez was after in that ravine. He was looking down for spiders. I could certainly hear spiders when I was next to him, but I don't know. I probably... If I had to face spiders anywhere, I'd rather it were above ground. Definitely. Ooh, Awkward has found some gold. Possibly just one, though, which is a bit of a shame. I can definitely hear a zombie as well around here, which is probably what he's looking for uh... right now. There it is. Hello, Chaos. So, what's happening with you? They still, they all they have in the way of that armor is their helmets. They've got enough. Okay, they're putting down the furnaces now. That is good. That's a good okay. sign. <laughs> they have enough. They have 11, 11 iron ore each. They really need to get their chest plates sorted. Uh, but it looks like they are doing so. So that is good. What are they on? Um, do, 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 do. Monkey Ross is on 8.5. Chaos is on 10. Uh, there are only four people left on 10. Six, if you include us. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, actually, that's not true. That's not true. It's five. So five people. And one, two, three, four, five people have taken damage. Gomez is on 3.5. Ah, so is Sendos. Let's go over to Sendos. I swear that just changed. He's oh no he's got he's got an arrow in the eye he oh, has no. got an arrow in the eye that's <laughs> not good 
Um, okay, he hasn't lit up any of this place. That's probably where the skeleton came from. Oh, he's running through. He's got two! He's got three! He has got three! Three arrows, four, five, oh, no. I don't even, I can't even tell. <laughs> that might just be the one, I don't know. Do you think he tried to... I think um, it's probably three. ...melee a, a skelly? I think I... Well, does he have a bow? Um, he does have a bow. It's down very <laughs> low, though. It might even be, have been a drop from that same skeleton. Because I doubt, I don't think you could possibly wear down your bow this early on in a match. Oh no, a skeleton! The skeleton's coming up on Sendos again! Oh, and no. he's going to be hit! He's hit again! Ow! Well done, that was only the one hit. So Sendos is down to 3.5. Actually, he was only on 3.5 Ow, no! He, there's another skeleton! He's on 2.5! Oh no, two. two! Oh, Sendos! Be wow. thankful for that armour. And there's a creeper right here, but he looks to be stuck. <laughs> yes, he oh, is dear. stuck. FFS. FFS. Oopsies. I Sorry, hear you made. Judy Kirk is here. <laughs> I met twenty skeletons. <laughs> Three, to be exact. <laughs> I was, I was there. <laughs>